Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial we'll be going over how to add video playback to an AR scene using AR Core and the Video Player component. I'll leave links in the description for AR Core and the Unity Docs. In this first part of the video I'll show how I set up the Unity Editor for AR Core. Uh, but if you're comfortable with these steps, uh, there will be a timestamp below, or you can just go ahead and skip ahead to three minutes. Welcome back everyone. Okay, so we are going to be using the augmented image scene to demonstrate loading a video overlaid on an image. And once we have the scene open, locate the augmented image visualizer prefab, duplicate it, and rename it augmented image video, and double click it for editing. We'll need to make some changes to the augmented image visualizer script, so double click on it to open it in your script editor. On line 60, add a public reference for a game object field named player canvas. Then on line 73, we want to set the active state to false so the image size can be calculated for the frame to fit the image properly. Uh, and once the calculations are done, on line 92, we'll set the active state to true. Now we're done editing our script, save and return to Unity. With the base prefab selected, create a new canvas. Set the render mode to world space. For demonstration purposes, uh, these are the settings that worked for me. Uh, you may need to adjust these settings for your specific project. Um, but I found that the uh, 
scale of 0 0.0001 for each axis rotating 90 degrees on the x-axis with a standard 1920 by 1080 width and height. Fields worked best for this example. With our canvas created and set up, go ahead and add it to the player canvas game object field on the augmented image visualizer component attached to the base prefab. Create a panel and on our new panel, create a raw image, add a video player component to the raw image and add your clip or URL. Adjust the raw image width and height to 1920 by 1080 and while holding shift and using these grabber dots, I want to shrink this down just a bit just so it fits within the panel just a little bit. In the project window, in the textures folder, I created a render texture and set the width and height to match the raw image ratio. And go ahead and drag it to the texture field in your raw image component and the target texture field on the video player component. Now return to the scene and select the example controller and drag the new prefab to the augmented image visualizer prefab field and we should be able to build and run at this point and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you a demonstration after it's uh, all built. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you were able to learn something, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.